Welcome to the 2012 series of Complete Cricket Masterclasses. The focus for this year's courses is 2020 cricket. Today we're here with Warwickshire's Neil Carter for a pace bowling masterclass. Hope you enjoy the videos and get some useful information out of it. When 2020 started and a few years ago, if you had a slow ball that was good. Now, having one slow ball is okay. I think uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of batsmen these days, if they know your slow ball, they know what's coming, then they can, uh, they can see it. So they, a lot of guys now have more than one slow ball. I know a couple of guys have three or four slow balls, which uh, I think is key. So we're going to go through a, a few slow ball options, not just one or two. And because um, with that, I think you guys can take it away and practice. And like you've been doing, you can just stand here and we will start doing that. You can just stand there and just start practicing. So like every time you're at home, you've got a wall, you've got a ball, you can just stand and get your wrist in the positions and we can bowl all different kinds of balls. So that by the time you can practice that, by the time you can get into a net and you can hone your skills and get the ball to land in the right area. Because if you can lock up and bowl three slow balls at different times, at different in 2020 games, then like I said, it's variation and batsmen won't know what's coming. Right, first one we're going to start off with is pretty much like a off spinner. So obviously most of you holding the ball seam up and we just have our normal normal delivery going through. I think this one is pretty much you can keep it exactly the same, your hands on the seam. There's no need to bowl cross seam like the spinner does. So it's pretty much the same grip as you would as you're running into bowl a normal seamer. But it's just getting through your action, the last minute you're just gonna roll your wrist over it. So instead of if you all look at me here, instead of coming down straight like you would, you just come up and then you just turn your wrist sideways. So like it comes out like a like a like a off spinner. So the point about this, guys, is that just remember you're not running up to bowl a spinner. You're running up with your normal act, your normal pace, and your normal action. Just by twisting your wrist at the end will automatically slow the ball down. So your whole <coughs> key about that is your whole action will be exactly the same, the same pace, but just your wrist, and that will slow the ball down and confuse the batsman. And then also because it's, it's only a slight wrist changing position then it's something a lot of the batsmen won't be able to see that and only realise later to adjust. So I'll just uh, bowl one or two down here. You guys just want to come around a moment. Same, I'll do the normal one again. Same, going straight down. And now we're changing. So everything's exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same, just there. You see how the seam changes and it just slows down. Everyone get that? How many questions do you find here? Cool, and again, so it's, everything's exactly the same, exactly the same, I'm just going to change it literally right at the end there. So we're there, and then there. That's key, so especially as a, as a young kid, your natural ability is when you put a board in your hand and you take your hand back, naturally it's going to go like this. It's going to go there and naturally the ball's going to come out there, which is like a lot of which a lot, lot of you are doing. I was just seeing, I think you were doing it now, you were just going around like this and naturally the ball's coming. I think to understand is like it's pretty much just getting your hand and wrist in the right position that when you go back that you are going to actually turn Turn your actual hand and arm. It's not a question coming coming around. I think it's key is you've got to get that wrist turned. Naturally, when you hold a ball, everyone holds a ball like this in this position. And when you take your arm back, you take it back straight, 
and it automatically goes in that position. So the key is to go back and you actually have to turn your arm out. Going back, turn your arm out, so you got to get it over, and that way you can bowl the so-called offy where your hand turns out. Your right hand, pull it back there. Don't just pull it back straight, when naturally the ball's going to come out that way. So come back and twist so this, this part of your elbow faces outwards, gets out there. So your arm can come over and then you can twist it out. Especially for all you left-handers. This is very important for all you guys, especially because most of the time you're bowling to your right-handers. Okay, I know there's a lot of left-handers about, but a lot of time going to right-handers. And that's key. If you can bowl this, that's very much key because the ball's going to be turning away from a from a right-handed batter, and it's a lot harder for them to hit the ball turning away. Guys are going to try and slog you, and it's going to turn away and get an edge and go up in the air. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Go and practice this day in and day out. All you just stand in front of a mirror and just watch your hands go. Your arm and hands and just watch your wrist go. For the so for off key and then for the leg cutter. So it's just a question, just little tinkers at the end there. You just, you just progress from there. Into like bowling against the wall in your back garden. You do that and just whenever you've got spare time. Those of you guys are so clever here at school that you can take half an hour to your homework and you have the rest of the evening free. So just stand there in front of the wall and just throw a tennis ball. Just practice with the wrists and that's how you become better. In terms of a change of pace, how, how much pace do you drop <coughs> from a slow ball? From an from a off cutter, more so. And the more pulling your wrist, obviously the more bites and turn you're going to get. And obviously the more uh, pace off the ball you're going to get. Where a lot of you come and just slide your fingers off slowly, that's pretty much, you're not going to get as much turn and as much pace off. So the more rip you can get through the ball, the less pace you're going to have on it and the more variation will be at the other end for the batsman. And same as doing the other one. A lot of guys, a lot of guys come in and have got just a slight, a slight pull of the fingers on inwards. In that case, the ball's just going to slow down a little bit. But a lot of guys come over and they roll their fingers off big time. In that case, obviously the fingers come right off, the pace of the ball is going to slow down a lot more. So you will see in how you feel, uh, your off is slowly, your fingers don't come off that much. So they will slow down a little bit, but not as much as if you really cut, you know, really cut it. And that way the ball will spin more sideways and slow down, obviously going into your momentum taking it forward. The real, the real good guys are just that, to see the batsmen or guys that change is very late in the action so they literally they get there and right at the end they just just turn their wrist instead of really turning their whole hand and arm they just turn their wrist but they turn their wrist a lot but right at the end